If you wanna get a bag, you gotta plead your case I yeah. can't fuck with no bitch, you'll be up in the way First Hell things nah. first, we gon' have to get this shit straight, this shit straight. Don't touch my chain or I'm up in the flame bitch. If your bitch choosing up, I'm the nigga to blame shit. Let me pull up a What's six up, so everybody? I can never I'm your host, Dub, son And today you sparking up with Vans and Weed You feel me? And today, man, we got Lil' yeah, Lee, man Little you in the building, me? you know what's you know what going saying? on. You know what I'm saying? Outside, man. Yeah, outside. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about in the building, you know what I'm saying? We outside hey, in nature, man. you feel me? But how you feeling today, man? Man, definitely feeling good. For sure, you know for I'm sure. Saying? Definitely, you know, living good, feeling better, you know, as I should be, you know. Okay, but, uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, you feel me? I know, I know we pretty much tapped in, but can you let the world know, you feel me, about your, your upbringing and where you started, you know? Man, so the niggas already know, you know what I'm saying, Richmond, California, you know what I'm saying, born and raised, you know what I'm saying, but I did do my time in Pano, you know what I'm saying, and uh, upbringing, I can say, you know what I'm saying, just a, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't even know how to even answer an upbringing question, because it's like, it's like, what, what do y'all really want to know, like, you know what I'm saying, when I was young, I was cool, you know what I'm saying? Chill, dude, chill. But then I get my times where I was hyper, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Upbringing was 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 regular, you know. Just a, uh, I always get to that. My, my main thing too. I get tongue twisted like a motherfucker. <laughs> I don't be knowing what, the, what I be hollering. But upbringing, you know what I'm saying? I came up. Uh, elementary was cool. I went to Coronado uh, um, in Richmond, California. And then sure. uh, I ended up going my, I went there from K through fifth grade. And then through sixth grade, I went to, uh, I went to Shannon Elementary in Pinot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been up, I was up there. And then uh, did Pinot the rest, rest of my years a, a, a school, you know what I'm saying? Middle school, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't be wanting to get too deep too early, so I ain't, yeah, I ain't gonna let sure, them know sure. nothing. I ain't gonna say well, too much. Well, but. Since, since we, you feel me, since we going there, like, what would you say was the the dynamic or the major shift from moving from Richmond to Pinal? A major shift. I remember, you know, it's crazy. Like I remember my mama telling me, like, all right, it's gonna be time for you to move school because we, you know, we moving, we gotta, we move into another house, and that mm -hmm. the uh, the school, it's a school, gonna be way closer to you. So you, you know, I'm not gonna be dressed. Basically, she was like, I'm not trying to be driving all the way to Richmond every day. You mm -hmm. feel me? And when it's a school right around the corner, so. Uh, I remember it like it was yesterday, bro. I just remember she was telling me I was that crying. It was a, she picked me up from school, telling me that she we was finna move, and I'm just like, damn, you feel me? Like I ain't trying. To, I gotta make new friends. You feel me? I wouldn't, I wouldn't find it that because I'm a, I could say that for sure. But my upbringing, I'm a shy person. I'm still shy to this day. Like you feel me? Until I open up, you feel me? But yeah, I was just you know shy, scared, of, scared of new things. You know what I'm saying? And just like. Like, I don't know, kind of tell my mom, like, I ain't trying to move, you know, you know? like, you know how you tell your mom, like, I ain't trying to go to no new school, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, all my friends here, oh, you know, just shit like that, you Thanks, know, so right. that was like a big, but the big shift was just, you know, actually doing it, and, you know, and actually going over there, going to the, going to the school, and finding out, like, you know, it's kids just like, just like me, like, you know, everybody, at the end of the day, everybody down there the same. Like we all, yeah. you feel me? Like I ended up meeting the same people. You feel me? Damn near. So it's like the dynamic was was definitely it was a, it was a big shift. But you know what I'm saying? It was nothing to a G though. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely ready for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. So like, would you say like it kind of groomed you into being more diverse with your like selection of like friends and stuff like that? Most definitely. Cause enrichment. Well, I ain't even gonna say that. Cause when I was going to Granado, it was. Uh, it was hella diverse up there too. It wasn't mm -hmm. as much white kids and stuff, but it was definitely like a lot of minorities, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I got a lot of minority, uh, you know what's crazy? I always think about this shit now. Like I had a lot of uh, minority crushes back in the day, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of, you know what I'm saying? No cap, I had a lot of messy, you know what I'm saying? I love the messy For kids, sure. you know what I'm saying? For sure. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It was just like, like the diverse shit was definitely like, Jumping into that too, it was like way more diverse. Jumping into Pano, you going to school, you, your best friend might be a white. Uh, yeah. white you feel me? Like I, I ended up being cool with hella white. You know yeah. When you, when you think about it, when you think about it, every like race in the Bay Area is pretty much the same. Like we exactly. got the same kind of like the same slang. And, exactly. You know, Especially in so, the Bay. It's, it's, yeah. That's it's the just, main you thing. feel me? We all kind of one for real. Most definitely. So, uh, music, man. 
How did you get into making music or just like rapping for real? Well, rapping, well, really just I say music. When I first started, I was uh, um, at Coronado. Mm -hmm. There was like this little, uh, we used to have this little after school program thing over there. And it was just like we would get up on and play little instruments and get up on the mic and just, you know, do a little kiss. And I remember I wrote my first rap at probably like five or six years old. I mean, like when you start school again, like eight or nine or some shit like that, I think I was in like probably fourth or fifth grade. Like start, start school? No, no, no. I was in, I was probably in like third or fourth grade or something like that. Like probably like five, five six. Like six or seven. So yeah, yeah. so like, seven, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Third grade is when I start, you know what I'm saying? Just jumping into that shit. But I wasn't really like, I was playing around. My pops had bought me like a little uh, mic with a little speaker. So I used to be fucking around and bought me a little piano. I used to be mm -hmm. fucking around at the crib, but I never really, you know what I'm saying? Took it serious until I got into middle school. You feel me? And then once I got to middle school, I started getting tapped in more. You feel me? Shout out Kuya. You know what I'm saying? He really put me on a lot of music shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, Kuya was a big influence too because when I was in middle school, my first year, uh, seventh grade, I wasn't even doing, I wasn't, I was just fucking around. Like, not going to after school program or nothing. You know what I'm saying? And then until, I, I want to say it was like the middle of my seventh grade year, he snatched me up finally one time and was like, come, you know what I'm saying, come to that school program. I got some shit for you, can, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some real, instead of just, cause that was my main thing. I, I fuck with sports and all that shit, but I, I really didn't at the end of the day. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like it was cool. I, I played sports all, that's another thing in my upbringing. I played sports, I played uh, baseball, you know what I'm saying? I played down there every sport it could be, soccer, yeah. Uh, nigga, everything, bro. You feel me? So it's just like definitely like coming up. You know, you know how that shit be. Just, yeah, just you feel me? Kind of, kind of doing what the homies doing for real. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, most exactly. of the homies they they you know sports athletes. Sports, you feel me? So I'm like, me? let me do, let me let me try this shit out. Didn't really like it like that. Never really liked practice, waking up, doing all that type of shit. So mm -hmm. I was like. Fuck that, I'm, you know what I'm saying? And I ended up jumping back into the music shit, like, and that's when, you know, me and you, mm -hmm. getting for up, sure, getting sure. tight, seventh uh, seven grade. That's another mm -hmm. thing I can never forget, too. This nigga, seventh grade, <laughs> way, we used to be, we used to be wilding. Be wilding. <laughs> it was a time, though, it was a time. You feel me? It was a for good sure, time, for sure. For sure. But that's, a, that's, a, that's how I really jumped into music. We jumped in ASK, after school program, you know what I'm saying? At school kids, you know what I'm saying? That's what we really was, you know what I'm saying? For we sure. Just, we so like rocking. uh like you said, me and Kuya and um I'm pretty sure that the rest of the HBK gang, you feel me? How did that like how did that change your your vision on you feel me, doing music or just wanting to be in this type of business? Seeing seeing them. Seeing uh, cause you know it's crazy when I was a, when I was younger, uh before I even this one I was even um I want to say I was down there in elementary, bro, mm -hmm. and I went to the swagging video shoot. Okay, okay. Because John had knew my cousin, Cool John. Shout out Cool John. He knew my cousin, uh, Orisha. They been, you know what I'm saying, they been locked in forever. So when I had, uh, um, she had, she had, she had told me about the interview, I mean, about not the interview, the damn, uh, the, the video shoot, and this is when Hilltop Mall was smacking. They had the, the first Hill filthy, Schmack. yeah, the Hill Schmack. Shout out Hill Schmack, you know what I'm saying? They, they uh they had filthy drip down there and uh that was my first ever video shoot everything like i had went to that mm -hmm. and that just opened my eyes seeing like you feel me you could actually do this type of shit bring everybody out everybody come to your video shoot everybody fucking with you turning your shit up it was like some real cinema shit like uh, some shit that i had never seen i'm seeing niggas like they had that shit where where you got the dude rolling down the shit mm -hmm. and he you know what i'm saying it's just shit that i wasn't seeing so seeing that shit i'm like man i could do this shit and I had already been doing rapping since I was since I was a kid anyway, so it's like, why not? You feel right. me? So definitely. So definitely. like, uh, would you say like some some artists that really change your perspective on the rap game, or like, who do you listen to the most, or who you grew up on for real? Man, who I grew up on, man, shit. So really, when I when uh. Man, who I grew up on? This is this is one of them questions. I used to be up on DB. Mm, okay. I used to be up on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, what turned me out was was uh, was going to my uncle's 17th birthday party. But this nigga, he had a, he he had a party. He's still in high school, and I was a young nigga at the time. And I was up in that party, 
And they slap D B the general intro. I'm like, hold on, nigga, what song is this? I'm asking everybody like, what's this? It's a, it's a whole slap. Like, hold up. So just little shit like that, like D B, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Jacka, J Stalin. Uh I grew up on a lot of reggae too. Like a lot of uh my sure, mama used sure. to be up on a lot of reggae and Jamaican music and shit like that. So like and a lot of Anthony Hamilton, Maxwell, oh, yeah. you feel me, shit like that. So I got an old soul when it comes to shit like that. You feel me? Like definitely I used to listen I listen to a lot of rap shit still, but definitely I don't mm. know rap before twelve, you know what yeah, I'm saying? That's that's, sure, that's, that's, sure. that's the main thing for old me, soul, man. man. Old soul, no rap before twelve, man. Get your mind right. One oh two, not one oh six. Yeah, one oh two. One oh two point nine or one oh two point one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure, not that sure. one oh six, for sure. Alright, so um I seen you feel me? You was rocking out a few shows, man, with the Boss Life and the Ten Piece Tone, man. Definitely, definitely. You feel me? Yeah, definitely. Shout out Big Spin. Shout how out was, Ten Piece. How man. was, you feel me, like, performing in front of, you know, that many people and, you know, being on, like, headlining shows? How was that for you? Shit like that was, like, I ain't gonna lie, having that last one that, that we did at Cornerstone, mm -hmm. that was, like, it kind of, I was kind of scared, I ain't gonna lie. I was on that motherfucker screaming. I felt like I, my, my performance was crazy, but mm -hmm. like, uh, I used to perform in, in middle school a lot. You know, like talent shows that like we used to do. Sure. I mean, like, you know, we done done rallies. Uh, uh, um, every, like, you feel me, shit like that. So I was never really stage fright, you mm -hmm. feel me? That was the main thing. I was never really like scared to get in front of a crowd and shit like that, but when it, ain't, when it hadn't been a long time, I'm just like, ooh. You feel me? I was kind of ooky, but uh, them big ones, it, it's been feeling good, though, man. Just, you know, being up there, seeing people, like, bro, what, what amazed me the most is, is a song that I ain't even think that, you feel me, people really fucking with me that much, and I get up on there, and everybody know the damn lyric from yeah. back, I mean, from front to back, you yeah. feel me? So it's like, that shit just opened me up even way more, and just, you feel me, just niggas telling me every time, like, bro, you got all the resources, bro. Tap into this shit, bro. Like, stay consistent, stay at it, bro. Like, this shit Facts. is just for you. Like, it's easy. And it is easy, for real. Yeah. You got, you feel me? You just gotta stay consistent. You know, keep putting that work in. Man. That part. That part. For sure. So, like, what would you say is the best part about the music experience? Shooting videos or performing? I would have to say performing, for sure. Just because you got, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because you got them people in front of you and mm -hmm. not even knowing if they fucking with you or not, but you just giving them a show, you feel me? Like, that's like the main thing. Like, at the end of the day, I didn't perform in front of, what Cornerstone? Cornerstone had like that mirror. We, it was sold out, so I want to say yeah. it was, uh, mm -hmm. it was it was packed out. Bottom. Yeah, it was top, top to bottom, bottom for sure. It was bottom. a lot of people for sure, but I didn't perform in front of a lot of people and I didn't perform in front of, you know what I'm saying? A, a small crowd, a handful mm -hmm. of people, you feel me? So. Like, I know how to, I know how to, you know, that's the main thing is crowd control, too, is just, you know, being able to jump in front of anything and and making people fuck with you, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't fuck with me now, you after you hear this, you for sure gonna fuck with me. You for sure gonna say, oh, what's that, what was that you just playing, what was that? Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure, most definitely. For sure, for sure. Most definitely. So, like, as far as in today's rap game, what do you think? the bear you need to move forward. Shit, unity. <laughs> That's the main thing, man. Everybody just, shit, it's too much, uh, you know what we need? We need more party music. That's mm -hmm. the main thing. Let me, let me, let me give y'all niggas a gem real quick. Stop all the gang bang, shoot, shoot, all that shit. I mean, it's cool if it's giving you the buzz and everything, but the bitches is the audience. The bitches is who you, who you gonna want to tap in. The women, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't even say the bitches. The women, I'm sorry, is the audience is who y'all gonna tap in with at the end of the day. You feel me? So it's like, start making more yeah. party music, ass shaking music. You know what I'm saying? That's what's gonna get the bitches. You know what I'm saying? Fired up. And they don't yeah. wanna always be able. They don't wanna always hop in the car and hearing a, a, a nigga shooting something or a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Finna go slide up on something like. You know what I'm saying? I'm a nigga that's gonna talk about getting money. You know what I'm saying? A nigga that's gonna kick knowledge with the bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna tell you how to do this and mm -hmm. do that. I ain't gonna give you the full blueprint. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give you a little something of it. Yeah, most definitely. So, uh, like, what you feel like 
makes where you come from so unique? Shit. Just because the people that, that come from there don't get no shine, you feel me? And I feel like that's like the most, that's that's really like, to be honest, you niggas know Richmond, that's where a lot of this shit come from. You know what I'm saying? The Bay Area, for sure, but Richmond, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, Richmond is, is where a lot of this shit come from. Not Richmond CA, not VA. You feel yeah, me? Right. Like, this is where a lot of this shit come from. So, yeah, I, about the you feel me? Stuff. You feel me? Let's talk about Smee's, uh, Chunks, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Chunks or shout out Bro. Like, yeah. even making shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and motherfuckers taking shit like, think about it. We've been pushing Pete. We like, come on now, shout out, shout out, look, shout out Gunna, shout out, I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, but Lil B been pushing peace, nigga, since, I don't, come on now, come like, on. I, come on now, like, I, we been pushing peace, so it's like, shit like that, we don't, like, you know, this, the bear shit is really a, a real, it's a rock for this shit, like, at the end of the day, I even asked this dude, he, the nigga asked me the other day, he was like, what, 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 what is better, uh, um, he was like Atlanta. Or he was like, "What food is better, down south food, or um, or, or 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 California food?" I said, "Down south, you ain't finna go down there and go get no Chinese food. You ain't finna go down there and go go get. I mean, like you, you ain't finna go down there and be like, oh, I know this smacking ass Chinese spot. You finna go down there for some soul food, right. some seafood. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Out here, new in the Bay, we got a variety of everything. You can jump out here and, and jump into any bag you want to. The Indian bag." You know what I'm saying? Curry, you can jump in the curry bag. You can you can jump in I anything. Just had, I just had some jerk chicken. Come on fire. now. I still ain't had jerk chicken. Like you can jump in the Jamaican yeah. bag, it's fire out here. It's like just you feel yeah. me? It's a, it's a lot of shit you could jump into, but out down south it's it's it's, it's really not nice. so you can't even put that you can't that's like you feel me when niggas put Tupac and NBA young boy, you know what I'm saying? Like why do y'all even try to compare them two niggas like you know what I'm saying? Leave that mm. shit alone. You feel know I me? Mean? For real. <laughs> Leave them two niggas. You can't put them two niggas in the same sentence. Like, for real. What my nigga R. Kelly? I mean, what, what Boosie say, bro? For real. R. Ke Nobody ain't fucking with R. Kelly, and I'm ready to uh, to go up against that, too. For real. Like, for yeah, real. And I, we ain't going for no R. Kelly slander. You know what I'm saying? For real. Alright, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, like, you feel me? You know, we rocking with bands and weed, man. What would you say is your favorite strand of all time? Shit, my favorite strand. If I could really sit up here off the top of my head. Man, fundraiser in this wood, I'm smoking octane. I ain't gonna lie, them <laughs> niggas got the <laughs> them man. niggas got straight. I don't know, dog. Like them niggas got pure gas, bro. Really? Like Sleep. in the air, oh, like go really, get bro. Like and, and if I could say one strain from them. You know what I'm saying? I could say it's probably it'll probably be that 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 oops all berry. Shout out oops. You know what I'm saying? It's that that classic. It's that shit. It's that shit. But mm -hmm. if my second, I would have to say that Kazam. I ain't gonna lie. That 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 Kazam mm -hmm. is some shit for sure. That's a that's a fire strand. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, strand. But yeah, man, the weed be putting me out too much. So I don't even be tripping off the weed too much. As long as you give me some good cookie or something. Mm -hmm. uh, because some some O sixteen, I mean some, yeah, some O sixteen cookie, mm -hmm. O fifteen cookie will be good for, for sure. sure, for Most sure, definitely. Okay, so uh, papers, blunts, or bombs? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, all right, look, when I'm going with papers, it's gonna have to be a split. You know what I'm saying? Shout out P. But if, sure. but, but if I'm going, if I'm gonna have to pick. It's gonna, you know, you already know what it's gonna be. It's, you said blunts, right? Yeah. Yeah, blunts for sure, man. I got a bong at the crib. Mm -hmm. I, I for sure wouldn't put it away. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna have to be the blunt before a bong, any. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Or a paper for sure, any day. Cause if it ain't a split, it ain't putting me out. So it ain't gonna have to be. It can't be a paper for sure, just by itself, most definitely. For sure, man. So like, what can we look for? in the future for you know any projects or yeah, you know any definitely. upcoming shows videos you definitely. know definitely uh shit i'm upcoming show um i don't know if it'll be out yet but may 6th we're going up with the boy mm -hmm. in santa cruz uh spence got a um boss life big spence got a set up there he's gonna bring me 10 so south you know what i'm saying okay uh next 
uh, next for our music for show dropping uh, you gonna a uh, singles coming next uh, most likely within the next month for surely within the next month ain't no most likely for surely with video in the next month mm -hmm. and for show what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, what I will do is I'm putting up uh, together a four a six a eight and a sixteen tape well, I mean well, well it's gonna go chronological order basically is mm -hmm. what I'm saying though because you know, Lil Lean, I gotta get him something to see. You know what I'm saying? So, sure, I'm gonna sure. drop a four on him first. And then I'm gonna drop a little six of him. And I'm gonna drop an eight ounce. And it's gonna be a full brick. You feel me? And then we're gonna keep going up mm -hmm. from there. You feel me? And just definitely more videos. You know what I'm saying? A lot of features. Uh, we got like at least shit. With, yeah, with the shit we've been playing, bro, I, I can't even like. I've been seeing y'all, man. I've been working. So much shit coming, like uh, it's been so much shit. So definitely got a lot of shit coming. Uh, yeah, most definitely. For a sure. Lot of shit. So uh, we we gonna we gonna get a few more in to me before we get up out of here. So like, we see you on the Insta, man. Yeah, you feel me? Heartbreak, little lean. Heartbreak, little lean. Yeah. Dipped up, man. Oh, so yeah. how would you how would you describe your your style? Like it's not a it's well. Mm, you ain't gotta I, give them all the yeah, songs. Yeah, I, I can't. Me? Yeah, cause I almost just dropped it all on y'all. But then you, it's you know, like you feel me. I can't do that. Drizzle a little so I'm gonna bit. drizzle it for yeah. sure. I'm gonna sprinkle y'all with a little bit. What I could say is like is it's 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 not it's nothing like the bay area when you get when you think of bay area you can't think of little lean you know what i'm saying you mm -hmm. can't think about how you can't think about oh that's even when when i'm out of town you can't say that oh yeah that's a bay area nigga by mm -hmm. the way he dressed because i'm not i don't dress like no bay area nigga you know what i'm saying so you might see me in a dickies fit you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. with some crocs on and a, and, a, and just a white tee, you know what I'm saying? Just on some cool shit, cause really my style is, I'm gonna give y'all a little sauce, just so y'all niggas stop dressing, cause I see all y'all niggas dressing the same and shit. What I'm gonna say is, y'all should start dressing like the skaters and shit, and, and stop being scared of what motherfuckers gonna say mm -hmm. about y'all. Like, my main thing too is, nigga, I've been flooded since middle school. Like, you feel me? Like, I've been right. flooded, and I've never been afraid of the flood. Like, you feel me? Niggas be afraid to flood, like, you feel me? So it's like, mm -hmm. ne never be afraid of what a motherfucker gonna say to you or what a motherfucker gonna think about your fit. Like, I never gave a fuck. That's why I literally could throw on anything. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it ain't even about what I put on. It's about what I, you know what I'm saying? What I spit out the, you know what I'm saying? The mouthpiece. You know mm -hmm. That's all she gonna hear at the end of the day. She ain't even gonna, I could come out with, in some pajamas and all she gonna hear is my mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. That's all she gonna hear, man. And, and, and what you rock is how you rock it. It's how you rock it, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Sure, what I'm saying. Sure. Like you can you can bust come how you come at the end of the day. A mm -hmm. lot I see a lot of niggas is fresh, like at the end of the day, but just you know what I'm saying? Try yeah, try to you know, try to run it in your own lane. You know what I'm saying? saying? You, don't, you don't need the designers and the Da Vinci's and none of that. And none of that. None and of that. And you know all that saying? shit. You, you know need black shit. owned businesses on you. You like, feel me? Shout out Pop Support Pussy. your people, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Pop Pussy, not Pistols. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm violent so, society. You know? I'm always support my people. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's inevitable. I got to. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, I'm a, but you definitely going to catch me with a Dickies. With some dickies on though, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Something under it, if not some, it's some casual. Some casual, some casual. For, sure. Most definitely. for sure, for sure. Most definitely. So yeah, man. Uh, before we get up out of here, man, uh, do you feel like you see yourself doing anything else besides music, as like acting or you know? Shit, acting. Yeah, I'll get into an acting bag for sure. But shit, what motherfuckers, what, re what motherfuckers really don't know, like. What a lot of people don't know, some people do, but I'm a, I'm a whole medical assistant out here. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? I, like, I really jump into the medical bag. Like, you know what I'm saying? I rap and I do, I do this and I do that. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm really smart out here. Like, I'm not no dummy. So, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you know I'm saying like, definitely, like, most definitely, like, you could say, you could. Like what was your question again, bro? I just I just forgot that quick. What was the sec the second part you were just saying? Oh, basically just like you know, would you 
consider like acting or yeah yeah you know, I definitely would do anything outside of music yeah, I, mean, yeah. I know you said you're a medical assistant exactly but outside of music the show outside mm -hmm. of music I want to be a, I want to yeah, put me in in the same category like just like Snoop bro I'm ready to get in any bag bro this nigga I didn't see this nigga rapping Korean I didn't see this nigga do shows mm -hmm. And cooking with Martha Stewart. Cooking right? with Martha, like you feel me? This nigga then jumped into any bag he can think of. So for that's sure, I'm sure. the same nigga. I, like literally, bro, I'm ready for any kind of bag. Like, you know what I'm for saying? Sure, for, for sure, for sure. Like, All right, man. The last question, man. This you feel me? You kick a little knowledge wherever you're gonna do. You feel me? But what you got to say to you feel me? Any upcoming artists or you feel me? Anybody that's thinking about just. Uh, involving themselves with this type of business? Shit. I, what I could say is just stay at that shit, bro. If you want some, some real results in this shit, just stay at it, bro. Because you can have all the resources and all the motherfuckers that's tapped in that got the blue checks and all that shit. But if you ain't using your resources and staying consistent with this shit, mm -hmm. it ain't gonna, you're going to be stuck in the same place. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm telling you from a point from a personal point of view, like a nigga that got the resources that just mm -hmm. you feel me, literally not consistent at it. You feel me? But I'm definitely staying consistent at this shit now. I'm not taking no days off, no mm -hmm. breaks. I'm not in the studio, I'm doing some type of content creating, you know what I'm saying, or something. Like they gonna have to hear me some some way. Somehow they gon they gonna have to hear me, and even if it's not even with the rap shit, like I'm learning, I'm getting back on my beat shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that was another thing too I want to bring up on the upbringing. Like I've been, I used to make beats, I uh, engineer, you feel me? Shit like that. Like mm -hmm. definitely know how to do all that shit, but definitely you know trying to jump back into that shit and figure out how to make beats. Shit, I fuck around and DJ. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm definitely like. Like entertainment business is 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 forever going like, cause when you think about it, even in times of pandemics and shit, like it motherfuckers are still finding ways to get paid with this shit. Like, mm -hmm. take Instagram on one or you feel me, do Instagram lives where you where you where you DJing or you doing like you feel me, just shit like that. Yeah. Like, I'm seeing so, most Thanks. definitely, most definitely, most Thanks. definitely, I'm definitely trying to get up into something like that. Facts, facts. All right, so uh, anybody you want to shout out, you feel me, for yeah. you, you know? Man, shit, it'll be a, it, shit, we'll have to extend this motherfucker about five <laughs> minutes and, like, just shout out all the loved ones. But I'm going to just shout out all, shout out to all the loved ones, you man. Y'all know exactly who y'all is, man. Or any like, projects and, you know? Yeah, uh, shit. The, the full EP is coming, four ounce, you know what I'm saying? The first, the four ounce will, is, is, is on its way soon. That's what it's gonna be called, and it's crazy. I just thought about that shit right here, right now. The four ounce, that motherfucker is gonna come, and it's gonna be a six after that, a eight, and then a whole brick, we're gonna drop a 16. Oh yeah, that's a like quadruple thing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's, gonna be, it's gonna be a whole lot, but for sure the, the four ounce is coming, EP, I'm gonna do like probably a like, yeah, it's gonna just be a quick full song, no features, you know what I'm saying? If anything, one, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to get all, you know what I'm saying, turn myself up first, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For Feel sure, like that. man. It's definitely, but shout out to all my loved ones, man. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying, everybody that's gone, you know what I'm saying, that I lost, that ain't here no more, you know what I'm saying? And shit. You know what I'm saying? We forever in MB mode. We forever in Louis mode. You know what I'm saying? Shit, for show in Joe mode. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I can't get enough of it. I, it's, it's all, it's dosed up on me, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, for show. For show, man. Thank you for sliding through, my brother. For man. surely. Oh, definitely. Appreciate it, man. Oh, definitely. Hey, man, man, it's a weed, baby. Yo.